But one day the Aborigine descends from the inland mountains, and as he gets closer to the coast, he jumps hundreds of centuries in only a few days. Here at Port Moresby Airport, where his trip through time ends, and where he cannot find a reason for all that he has been taught and is seen so hurriedly, the seed of the cargo cult, the cult of the cargo planes, is born in him. Along this great ocean route, ten cargo planes connect Hong Kong with Australia. They land each day at Port Moresby, and the cargo cult has its temples almost everywhere nearby. This is one. Its altar is standing 9,000 feet above sea level. The dummy plane is at the edge of the landing strip. At the other end, the control tower. The natives of the Rozo and Mikeo tribes are waiting for some plane to land on their strip, attracted by the bamboo model. They believe that planes come from paradise. Their ancestors sent them. But the white man, a crafty pirate, manages to get his hands on them by attracting them into the big trap of Port Moresby. your plane too, says the cargo cult doctrine, and wait with faith. Sooner or later, your ancestors will discover the white man's trap and will guide the planes on your landing strip. Then you will be rich and happy. searching the sky. There is no other world beyond these mountains, so the large birds that roar up there above the clouds cannot but come from paradise. There are only their ancestors in paradise. Therefore, only their ancestors can have built the plains. The spirits of the deceased cannot know the white men. Therefore, all those wonderful things that the plains carry were meant for their descendants. They've left the mission. They've forgotten their prayers. And here they are, waiting faithfully at the doorway to the sky. <laughs> 